Hey everyone! This is the fourth part of the A Thousand Years Easy Piano Tutorial um, by Christina Perry. So, where we got up to in the last tutorial, you've finished on this chord. You've got an E flat in the bass, you've got an E flat and an F in the right hand. So it's nice and clashy. Um, and that's just at the end of the first chorus. And you've just finished there. And we're up to time stands still, beauty in all she is. So I'm going to tell you what your left hand's doing first. And um, what I will do is explain that um, it's really hard to get this whole keyboard in shot with this camera. So a lot of this is really basic, it's really down sort of in the depths of the keys. What I'll do for this tutorial is play um, whatever I'm playing if I can in the bass up the octave, which means if I'm playing these two notes, in reality I'd be playing this note and the one below that you can't quite see. Um, so don't panic if you can't see my whole left hand, because a lot of what the bass is doing in this arrangement that I'm working with um, for the Easy Piano tutorial is whatever the top sort of your thumb of your left hand is playing, you're playing the same an octave lower, the other end of your hand. So don't panic, people have been saying, I can't see what your left hand's doing. Um, it's fine, I'll try and tell you as I go along if it's not in shot what you're playing, so you'll be fine. So here we go, you've just finished, E flat, E flat, F. And your left hand is just gonna play, I'll play it up here, it would be down here, but it's gonna be up here. And you're still on E flat, so you're gonna play the lower E flat first for three beats, and then the top one for three beats. So you're gonna play, and you're gonna do that twice, so it's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Then you're gonna drop down to the D, and you're going to do the same thing twice. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then you're going to drop down to the G and the G below that you can't see. It's the exact same note. And you're going to just play that once. One, two, three, one, two, three. With the lower one first. Then this one that you can see on the screen. Okay, so that whole thing is one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. Stop. And to accompany that in the right hand, don't worry if you can't stretch because this covers an octave in the right hand as well. And some people um, find it difficult to stretch as far as it wants us to stretch. So just give it a go and let me know if you've got any problems. So. What you're doing in the right hand, you're playing an F and a B flat together. Then you're going up to the F above, this one here, and then back down. So you're going to go. And that just keeps going for like pretty much the whole verse. So just try it. And if you have any issues, then you can just play the B flat and then the F and leave this bottom F out. So you can play if you find that easier. No worries, it won't sound that much different, it'll just take out a little bit of depth. But if you're singing over the top, that probably doesn't matter that much anyway. So this is what it sounds like when you put them together. So remember you've got E flat and E flat and you've got F and B flat switching between that F and back down. So it'll sound like this. to the D and again and then the G okay and I'll do that now with the voice from time stand still is where we're going from so you finish here then you've got ready time stand still beauty in all she is I will be brave then you've got let anything and this bar it's a funny rhythm and what your left hand is going to do is play an A which you can't quite see it's this one here my little fingers on I'll play it up here for you to see you're going to play um, technically you're going to start down here actually you're going to start on this A that you can barely see and you're going to play now it sounds weird because you're going to be going play that again so it does sort of clash but this is okay no one panic I'll play that again so it's gonna sound like this okay so your right hand you're gonna play an F major chord F A and C 
and you're going to play the whole chord once and then you're just going to play F and A twice. So you're going to go that again and then you're going to move from the A and the C to a B flat and a D. Let's stay on the F and then you're going to play I'll play that again. So you've just gone F, A, C together, F, A, C, F, A, F, A, and then F, B flat, D, and then F, B flat, F, B flat. I'll play that again. And remember your bass hand is going... So that whole thing should sound like this. Play that again. So it sort of just pulls the rhythm apart a bit, and that's for let anything. So it's just it's just messing around to fit the rhythm in. So you've got let anything. Then you've got take away what's standing in front of me. And for that, you're going to play the exact same thing you've just played for time stand still. So you're going back to an F and a B flat, going up to the F above and back, which is great because this just repeats itself. Four, um, take away what stand standing in, standing in front of me. Okay, so what you're doing in your left hand is you're going back to what you've literally just played in the left hand again. So it just repeats so that to remind you E flat, E flat, E flat two, three, E flat two, three, D two, three, D two, three, D two, three, D two, three. Okay, so that whole thing. Um, let anything take away what's standing in front of me every breath you're on to breath and on breath you're going to drop to the G again so this one and the G below just to keep it nice and simple and this repeats with it every breath every and then you've got our has come to this our has come to you're repeating exactly what you did for let anything that we just looked at okay so to remind you fac once and then two f and a and then f b flat d once and then two f and b flat is that whole bar and in your left hand you're playing a and then up to this A and then the B flat below and then up to this B flat. Our has, our has come to this. On this you're going to drop from where you've just finished um, in the left hand on the B flat you're going to drop down to a C but because you can't see that I'm coming up to a C okay so originally you'd go down to here nice and moody but we're going to stay up at this C so you can see it for the sake of the tutorial um, and that you play for the whole bar on this hour has come to this you're on a C here and in your right hand you're going to play it will be down here but because this C is here we're going to play it up the octave okay so all of this will be down one but for now it's up here Every hour has come to this. You're going to play a C octave in the left, and in the right hand, you're going to play B flat, G, B flat, B flat, E flat, B flat, G. So that whole bar you've got. And then you're into one step closer, which we'll look at in the next tutorial. So I hope this has been helpful. Give me a shout, um, leave me a comment, or send me a message if you've got any questions or if you want me to clear anything up. Um, I hope this has been helpful, and thank you for watching. See ya!